Peggy 12. I've been involved with the Avatar world for a pretty long time, pretty much since its inception. Ah! We were pretty involved with the story of this game. Um, early on, me, Brian, Joaquin Dos Santos, and uh, Tim Hedrick, who wrote the game, uh, all powwowed for, for a few hours <laughs> and talked about like wh where this could be in the timeline, what kind of story could we do that didn't tread on what we were gonna do in book three and four but could still be its kind of own standalone story. And don't come back. And I've known Mike and Brian since the 90s. And uh, when Avatar first started going, they asked us at Tid Mouse to do the main title. Uh, Korra, uh, I didn't get to work on that one until now. And we're super excited that they got to do the cutscenes for the game. Activision said, you know, are there any animation studios you could recommend? And it finally lined up. Hey guys, welcome to Titmouse. We're gonna show you the process of how Legend of Korra was made. As a director, it is my job to kind of oversee the team and make sure that, you know, everyone is hitting the same style to match the style of the Korra. We look at the storyboards and we look at the key poses and we try to basically bring the storyboards to life. So after the storyboard is set is when the, the actual full animation team gets to work. Hello? Where is everyone? Cora, what's wrong? Ah! Janora, where are you? So as you can see, we've got a room entirely full of talented artists and we all work together and pre-plan the shots and the sequence we have to make. So as you see, like everyone on their own individual computers have to work on their own specific shot. It's come out just incredible. Naga, good girl. It feels like the show. 